Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, for some of you that are new, my name is Tammy and I live in central Alabama. I'm a uh, homemaker. I also teach Sunday school and I love the Dollar Tree. I love yard sales, thrift stores, uh, bargain shopping, all that sort of thing. So uh, I, I like YouTube. Uh, I like to watch other people's videos. And that's about it. Uh, if I think of something else, I'll tell you. And for uh, my friends that have been with me for a long time, welcome to. I appreciate you so much. If you will, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave me a comment. Well, today I have a Dollar Tree haul, and it's a pretty big one. So we'll just get started. I picked up these Werther's Original Sugar-Free Caramels. These are so good. My husband loves them. A serving size is five pieces, and that is 45 calories per serving. So, and there's two and a half servings in here, so that makes about 12, about 12 or 13 pieces in here. But a friend of ours told us about these, and we got them, and uh, I just love them. I think they're delicious. I got two packs of those, but we've already eaten one pack. Picked up this reindeer moss. I'm going to be uh, putting this, I know this is probably too bright, but that's my Easter tree over there. And the base of it's wood, and I'm going to glue this around the base of it. So I made that myself. I bought the tree at Hobby Lobby for like $6. And I bought the little uh, eggs, styrofoam eggs, at Dollar Tree. And then I had some other little Easter ornaments that I had got at an auction one time. And when I stop my video, I'll try to bring it, I'll turn it off and bring it over here and show you what it looks like. But I'm going to put this around the base of it so you don't see that wood. I picked up my mother two packs of these vanilla cream cookies. It's the little Dutch made brand. She loves these. She eats these with her coffee, has them with her coffee every morning. So I got her two packs of those. And this is a good buy. It's one pound. Got that. Picked up for my little Sunday school class uh, some Pop Rocks. There's three in a pack. And what I'll do is I'll break these up and give them each just one pack, not the whole three. Just one little pack each for a prize. So I got those. And I used to love these when I was a kid, and uh, I think they're going to like them, too. And I don't know if they've even had them before. I mean, are these a thing now? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. This is a repeat buy. I also bought these for my grandchildren and the Sunday school class. These are the Sour Carnival Pops, and they love these. I give them a... A story sheet to carry home and I fold it up and put it in a plastic baggie and I'll put one of these in the plastic baggie. So uh, these have seven in each pack. So I got those and I love them and they do too. I bought some uh, other candy for them to have and they were like no we want the, the sour carnival pops so I was like okay. I got one can of the tomato soup. Like I said in my last video, this is the best place to buy your tomato soup, your chicken and noodle soup, chicken and rice. You get 30% uh, more for $1.25, and these are like $1.79 at Walmart. I'm going to try this. This is the Thai Kitchen Jasmine Rice, and it cooks in the pack. And I thought this would be good to add to my chicken and rice and chicken and noodle soups. Like, to beef them up a little bit. It's 
290 calories per pouch, so I would probably use a half a pouch per can of soup instead of that whole pouch. But this is ready to eat in 90 seconds in the microwave. Thai jasmine rice. So I've got one of those to try, and I hope it's good because I'd like to buy some more of those if it is. Picked up two more of the rectangle tablecloths in white. I buy these for my church. We host dinners sometimes for, um, unfortunately, like funerals. We'll have a dinner for the family, and it's always good to have tablecloths to put on our tables. I try to keep a supply of them at the church. Um, and also, if we have a dinner for an activity, or like for the children, or just for fellowship, you know, we have our tablecloths. So I got two of those. I thought these were fun, and I need some fun, y'all. These are the lemon flip-flops. Now, in the past, these little rubber plastic things have hurt my feet, but I think you've got to get used to them. Now, they're not going to hold up to, I don't think, wearing them every day for months at a time. But I thought these would be nice if I go and have a pedicure to slide these on, or just if I have to go outside for something, or around the house sort of thing, but I love those lemons. My kitchen is decorated in lemons, and I love those. So, they look pretty big. This size is a 7-8, so it's sort of a general size, but I don't care if they're a little big. This is also a repeat buy. I got these for my husband. He loves the pretzel rods. So I got him one pack of those. We're trying to watch our weight and our diet. And these are something that he can have for a snack. Those are very good and they're usually very fresh. I got two packs of animal crackers. That's another thing that we can have. And my grandchildren like them too. So I got two packs of those. And this is a great buy. They're pretty expensive at Walmart. This is eight ounces, but it's a pretty big bag of them. So for $1.25, I thought that was a good bargain. I got two of those. Picked up a thing of these uh, 20 ounce styrofoam cups. This is also a good buy. There's 10 cups in here. But these are like 2 and $3 at the store. So I just got one pack of these. My husband drinks his tea out of these. so And uh, Coke or whatever, you know. So I usually just keep him a supply of these around. I got this vibrating massager facial thing. I got this for my mother. I'm probably going to put this in a little bag with some other stuff for Easter for her. So, let's open it, and I'll show you what it looks like. It says it requires one AA battery. Well, that's good if it only requires one battery. So, you know, I can come up with a battery. We have a lot of extra batteries around here. This is what it looks like. And this is supposed to be jade. It is real cold. It's some kind of stone. I don't know if it's actual jade or not, but it is a stone because it's real cold to the touch. And I guess it vibrates and you rub it on your face. Let's see. Helps the skin appear more radiant, toned, and firm. She loves stuff like this for your skin. So I got that for her. I'm going to try this Essentials Arm & Hammer Soap, Liquid Hand Soap. This is a big container, and it smells wonderful. This is a gentle rose water, and rose is my most favorite fragrance. I love it. I have uh, body spray and lotion that my sister-in-law gets me every Christmas from Bath & Body. This is the rose scented, and I just love that fragrance. But this is the rose scented, and I did smell of it. 
in the store. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm hoping it's a good soap. I really probably should have got two of these, but I only got one, and it's 12 ounces. So I thought that was a good buy. Arm & Hammer is a name brand. Picked up the Brillo soap pads. There's eight in a box. Used to be, I think, 12 in a box, so they've cut down on these. But it, I can't find these at Walmart. They're always out. And they're probably more expensive anyway. So I picked up one box of those to keep at my uh, sink, my dish sink. This is a repeat buy. This is the uh, dish liquid that I use, the palm olive, lavender, and lime. You get 25% more. And I love these little bottles. It don't take up a lot of room. I leave it out. I have a little place on my sink uh, that I set it, and they don't take up a lot of room. So I just buy these to use for my hand when I hand wash my dishes. I do have a dishwasher, but, you know, I hand wash my pots and pans and there's just some things you don't want to put in a dishwasher. I got two things of paper towels. This is a lot better price than uh, Walmart. It's 176 sheets. This is a selector size. And like I said in the last video, these are not the best thickest paper towels. But they're good for me. It's what I can afford right now, and that's what I buy. So I got two of these to put in my stockpile. I picked up these pretzels for me. These are the Butter Snaps, Snyder of Hanover. That's a name brand. And these things are like $3 and, or more at Walmart. So this is a great buy. The best by date is July the 1st of 2023. They'll be gone pretty quick because this is something I can have on my diet. I love these. I got these rose stickers. They have the most beautiful stickers at Dollar Tree. I mean, they are pretty. And I thought these were beautiful to put, like, on an envelope of a Mother's Day card. You know, you've got your Mother's Day card, and you can seal it with one of these stickers. Or you can put it on the inside of a card to decorate. I just think they're beautiful. There's ten pieces in there. And they're 3D. You know, they're sort of risen up. But I have found that you can peel them off of that and make them flat. If you need to make them flat to go on an envelope. But I thought they were just lovely. I've seen the flag holders at Dollar Tree, but I've never seen the shepherd hooks. And I love this. I have a small... Uh, hummingbird feeder that I got at Dollar Tree a year or two ago and it's a plastic one it's lightweight and I'm going to put this probably in one of my big planters outside that I have flowers in and put the hummingbird feeder hang it off of that or I'll put it by my bird bath that I have so I thought that was a great buy it's pretty sturdy too it'll hold it will hold that plastic hummingbird feeder and with it full of hummingbird food. So I got that. I think that's about it. I did get a few things uh, at our church. We do an Easter egg hunt for the children, and I had to buy some prizes to carry for that event. And I'm just going to show you these briefly. These toys. I got... This little carrot spinner. I got two of those. I thought this was a great buy. The sidewalk chalk. Kids love that stuff. And it's got the multicolors in there. That's a great buy for $1.25. Got that. And I got the dough. The little Play-Doh thing. I got that. 
and I've got a couple of more things. One of them is a baby bathtub, baby doll bathtub. I thought it was real cute. And the other is a Spider-Man thing. So, I got that. But that's everything, I think, that's everything, unless I've left something out, that I got in my Dollar Tree haul. And I just want to tell you thank you, and God bless you, and I hope to see you soon. I have some other things. I'm going to do a bargain video, show you some things that I've got at a bargain lately. Oh, I've got to show you my tree. Just excuse me. I'm going to step back there and get it. Just a minute. Let me turn the lights off on it so you can see it. There's my tree, my Easter egg tree that I made. It lights up. It takes, it's got a battery light up thing in it. And that's what it looks like. And there's some of the ornaments. He won't be still. That's like a little chick. And I've got little bunnies. And the little styrofoam eggs from Dollar Tree just set it off. So, and I'm going to put that reindeer moss around the base of it. My husband made this base for it. And I, it, I'm going to cover up this battery-operated thing. And this is probably going to be in the middle of my table for Easter. So, there's that. Uh-oh. Lost the egg, y'all. Those things are expensive. I better not lose many of them. Well, that's everything I've got. I hope you've made it to the end of this video. I hope everybody's doing good. I just pray that the Lord Jesus blesses you all. And just, uh, if you will, just follow my channel. I'll be back soon. Bye.